All right, so the video might be a little skewed and you might hear a shit ton of birds, but I'm here to talk about my opinion about the Avengers. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows already at this point that the Avengers is based off of the comic book series, the Marvel comic book series of the same name. Uh, it's directed it's directed by Joss Whedon. Um, written and directed by Joss Whedon. Uh, the lineup for the movie, in case nobody knows, is The Hulk, played by Mark Ruffalo, Iron Man, played by Robert Downey Jr., Captain America, played by Chris Evans, uh, Hawkeye, played by Jeremy Renner, uh, Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow, played by Scarlett Johansson, and I think that about covers it. Um, basically, um, Loki comes to fuck shit up, and it's up to the Avengers to save everybody. Um, now, obviously, this movie is a uh, pinnacle. This is obviously a pinnacle movie in nerddom, so I'm going to try my hardest not to talk too much about it. Because I've got a lot to say. I've already seen it three times and it only opened here in the States five days ago? Six days ago. Opened here in the States six days ago. Um, first, I'd like to talk about Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk. Everybody is all like, oh, Mark Ruffalo uh, carried the movie. The Hulk was the best part of the entire thing. And I don't get that at all. Uh, while I will admit this is the best written uh, Bruce Banner of the age and him having the advantage of motion capturing uh, himself and making him the Hulk uh, definitely improved it, but I still don't like Mark Ruffalo's acting. I don't see what the big deal was. I don't see why he got signed on for a six film deal. I just don't get it. His acting irks me. Like, generally speaking, I don't mind him, but in some of the moments where he's trying to be this awkward little nerdy scientist guy, you know, like he's supposed to be, he just doesn't do it. You know? That's probably my biggest problem with the movie. Another one of my problems is uh, Hawkeye was nowhere near as important as any of the other Avengers, in my opinion. I think they very well could have gone without him, and he was a second generation lineup of the Avengers, so I don't see why they went with him, other than it's Hawkeye. Um, I think those are the only negative things I have to say about the movie. Uh, the whole thing is fantastic in every way you can imagine. It's hilarious intentionally. It's emotional when it needs to be. It's just everything you expected. It's amazing. Um, soundtrack slash score was good. Um, I had a problem initially when they released the soundtrack lineup on the internet, you know, including Soundgarden and blah blah blah. First song that Soundgarden's recorded in 15 years. I'm like, this is kind of a shitty soundtrack, but, um, you know, there's not really much notice of it in the actual movie, so I was glad about that. Um, everybody was fantastic in their own way. Um, like, I, I've already talked about Mark Ruffalo. Chris Evans as Captain America is still, still amazing. Uh, I think he was probably my favorite in this movie because of the uh, big, uh, big culture jump between being from the 40s and being frozen until 2011 when he unfroze. I think his, his culture shock made his character fantastic. Um, uh, everybody else I talked to kind of thinks that Robert Downey Jr. as Tony was uh, their favorite character, and I can definitely see that. I, I really liked him. But, uh, he did fantastic. Uh, Chris Hemsworth as Thor 
There should never be another Thor ever, because Chris Hemsworth is the man to play Thor. Um, who else was fantastic? Um, Tom Hiddleston as Loki, definitely great. Uh, again, definitely great. He was amazing in Thor, and he's amazing in this. Um, Joss Whedon definitely did not fail me. This movie was amazing, and if you ever even have the slightest inclination to see it, go see it, and then you'll love it so much you want to see it again, and then you'll see it again, and you just won't be able to stop. It is, it is the best, one of the best, if not the best, comic book movie I have ever seen. And you know, that's taking into consideration The Dark Knight, fantastic. Uh, Watchmen, while a lot of people don't like it because they changed the ending, they have to agree that it was done fantastically. Just, it was all fantastic. I can't say anything else about it. Uh, if you have any, if you have any opinions, if you disagree with anything I've said at any point in time in this, you should drop me a comment, let me know. I'll talk back as soon as I can, which will probably be damn near immediately now that the summer's here. Um, what else? Um, I don't know, I mean, I guess that's it. It's an amazing movie. See it, talk to me, do whatever. It's fantastic. And I apologize for the seven minute video, but Thank you for watching.